proceed and do the rest of the calculations right in that what we are planning to do is find out what are the quarter diagonal correction and what is the one sixth diagonal correction so for that let us concentrate here on the first two columns right in the first two columns what is the sum of HFT sine theta so both are negative so it is 0 0.4646 plus 0.2295 that makes it negative 0 0.6941 minus that I will call R sine R that is minus 0 0.6941 similarly when I add the first two columns right for HFT cos theta I get R cos R by adding this and this so algebraical adding means 2.635 minus 1.1807 that gives me 1.4543 1.4543 okay so I have R sin R and I have R cos R now if I have R sin R and R cos R if I divide R sin R by R cos R what I'm going to get is R capital R is going to get cancelled and what I'm going to get is tan R so let us find out the tan R so that gives me minus 0 0.47 shift tan that gives me 25.5 degrees I have got 25.5 I have to decide what is the quadrant so in high schools we have learnt that this if this is the first quadrant all are positive in the second quadrant sign is positive third quadrant tan is positive and in the fourth quadrant cos is positive here what I see for R sin R and R cos R sin is negative and cos is positive if the sign is negative and cos is positive it is possible only in the uh, fourth quadrant and the angle which I have got 25.5 like in, in, in marine uh, uh, vocabulary you can call this as meridian and this angle that you have got is the angle smaller angle subtended with the meridian so that is this angle if this angle is 25.5 then actual angle is this particular angle 360 minus 25.5 360 minus 25.5 gives me 334.5 334.5 so for further calculations please remember that I have found the value of small r as 334.5 I'll put the value of 334.5 in one of these equations and I'll find out the capital R for example I select the second equation so value of capital R will be 1.4543 divided by cosine of 334.5 let's find it that gives me the value of r as 1.611 so capital r is equal to 1.611 so if you have understood the calculation up to here i would like to erase this part and then do the rest of it right actually in simple harmonic type calculations there are four things to be found out z0 with seasonal correction is number one sigma hft cos theta is number two quarter diagonal correction is number three and one sixth diagonal correction is number four so uh, uh, let's uh, gear up for the second part of the calculations i use this space only for doing the calculations right so the formulae that I had obtained from line 36 and line 39 let us see what these formulae are line 36 is it says that capital D4 is equal to R square into capital F4 so R square is 1.611 so 1.611 whole square into capital F4 capital F4 is 0 0.025 so let us see how much we get capital D for 1.611 whole square into 0 0.025 that is 0 0.0649 0 0.0649 and let us see what is small D for small D for 
is 2r plus f4. So 2r is 3, 3. I write the formula here 2r plus f4 is equal to 2 into uh, 334.5 plus f4 which is 105. So it is 2 into 334.5 equals plus 1 that is 774. I can keep it as 774 or remove 720 from it minus 720 that gives me 54. Let's find capital D6 now. Capital D6 the formula here is R cube into F6. Capital R cube is 1.611 cube and F6 is 0.0 Zero 0.05 that gives me 0 0.021 0 0.021 and then small d6 is 3r plus f6 1320 8.5 let me minus 720 I get 608 let me minus 360 again. I get 248.5. So this is 248.5. Now the value of quarter diagonal correction is D4 cos D4 and one sixth diagonal is D6 cos D6. So let's see how much is D4 cos D4. That means 0 0.0 649 into cos of d4 54 degree that gives me 0 0.0381 0 0.0381 positive and let's see how much is d6 cos d6 d6 is 0 0.021 into cosine of d6 that is cos of 248 it gives me there is minus 0077 so apart from these two things which we calculated earlier now we have d4 cos d4 and d6 cos d6 the total will be 3.490 plus 1.0659 plus 0 0.0381 minus 0 0.0077 the total 3.490 plus 1.0659 plus 0 0.0381 minus 0 0.0077 is 4.5863 the height of tide at Sunday Island at 8 o'clock on 14th February